Okay, hello. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to do a simple uh, technique I use to draw furniture. Um, most furniture on renderings do not seem to look real because they're either uh, they're, people are overlooking the details that are the most important. If, you, if furniture is going to be dark, for example, in color, or it's going to be in low light, there's no need to work the details. In this example, you can see that this kitchen has plenty of furniture, but something seems to be missing. It doesn't quite look right. Um, there's there's a lack of detail. This doorknob is on the wrong side of the door. Uh, some things don't, don't look right. Uh, this rendering is beautiful because of the light it has, but uh, the furniture doesn't look real. It's almost like hollow furniture, furniture that may be filled with foam core or something. In real life, most things have one source of light, and uh, or daylight, and sometimes you don't get to see uh, materials. Now with spot lighting and and interior lighting, you can pick up some more of more of the uh, details. And these are the details we'll be working on in a very simplistic way. Uh, this image here shows um, a 3D studio image of these chairs, this whole room. And to add a little bit to the uh, to the veracity, or to make it more believable, I added a uh, subject and the background. In this close-up view, you can see that even furniture is black. There are small details, the highlights you pick up, and the little edges and corners that make it look believable. In low light, well, you may have to skip most of that uh, detail. Let me explain a little bit uh, what I've, what's the technique I like to use. Most furniture has this type of uh, uh, construction. Uh, a piece of wood is has uh, soft edges because it's sanded on the edges and then uh, they have cutouts where uh, you're going to insert or builders insert the the other pieces that form the frames of furniture these are also uh, sanded down or, or routed to give certain shape and the, this is what I call the profile um, of a, of any object. So, and they also cast light in different ways because of those edges. You may have a complicated uh, profile, but it's uh, that's the way furniture is built. And these are the small details that make it look believable. So let's get started. We're going to draw um, furniture, uh, well, a dresser that uh, as a, an overall s uh, size is 4 feet wide by 15 inches deep by about 34 inches high. So keeping that in mind, we will try to uh, develop this piece here. Let's start with uh, the leg. A leg here will measure, obviously, uh, 2 by 2 inches by about uh, 30, 34 inches high. All right. Press J to get rid of these uh, uh, anchors. And uh, let's select uh, a few of these lines, these three lines here. We need to put them up. Uh, Select connect, except one segment, okay, and move it down. This is the height of the, from the ground up the chair. Select those two lines and the top two lines as well. Make two segments and then move them a little bit to the edge, like so. That will do. 
these are the size we're going to be extruding before that we still have uh, some work to do but let's do one side first select this plane click on extrude and uh, type about five and a half inches which is roughly a five and a half plus two inches on the leg when we do symmetry and, and we mirror it it's going to give us our 15 inches or so depth of the furniture so select symmetry click on mirror and when you grab these handles you'll be able to move the object to the desired location the gap between will be welded automatically due to the threshold here if you raise this it will uh, definitely uh, um, weld them after this click on symmetry collapse all say yes and you have one piece next thing is working on this side select those two lines click on connect and uh, we need about six piece, six lines in here and we need to move them a, a little bit uh, some of them have to be closer to each other for example these two are going to be the uh, the supports of the drawers in the middle so I'll move this up a little kind of estimate you know estimating that we need them to be about the same size the top and the bottom and uh, in between the top to the top drawers will be uh, smaller and the, the ones in the middle will be about the same size but they'll be larger alright next thing we need to work on creating our profile select this corner and uh, let's start with uh, tentatively uh, creating a chamfer corner make the chamfer maybe one sixteenth of an inch let's see how that looks for a while for a moment before we say ok let's go and grab some more press control on the w on windows and uh, keep selecting or command on the Mac now they seem to be a bit too small I'm gonna change it to two sixteens now they they show a little more now in real life this is probably not true two sixteens is like a one eighth of an inch but we have to exaggerate just a little bit here now we have a profile here here and, and in each one of these things and you can see now that a piece of wood is already in place and it has the right profile next thing we need to do is extrude and the front of the cabinet which is four feet wide and we need about 24 inches uh, halfway so here we have a leg plus 23 inches is roughly 24 25 we're going to end up probably with a 50 inch piece of furniture let's select these these lines here click on connect we need one segment we're going to drag the segment to the edge this is going to be the center um, the center um, uh, piece that will hold the furniture together now the interesting thing here we're going to do is we're going to select these faces that are in this corner these are also small profiles we made it and we're going to connect them using bridge select the face first then click on bridge 
and then you have to look at the face and click it and uh, you create the bridge that way continue doing the same thing for the other ones okay we have one more to go this piece here is going to be we'll try to make it exactly the same size as the uh, piece that will be between the smaller drawers on top for now this is good enough now we can select the other piece here Let's look at the profile we have made and we extruded everything is there it will, it will work beautifully light uh, shades and shadows will work fine select these two top uh, bars and with the lines make two segments close them up a little bit estimating about an inch or three quarters of an inch and so the next thing we need to do is just make make sure that the uh, the ones on the edges are the same but uh, let's let's bridge these two again there we go now let's go to the top view here and you see we need to make this slightly uh, I mean close to half this one here nobody's going to measure this but if visually we can cheat a little bit we'll, we'll have it done right unless you're building for construction you don't need to be that precise all right, we extrude the back of it as you can see selecting the uh, the plane or the uh, face in the back now let's mirror same place same same way create symmetry threshold should work at 116 I think I got it closed up and now we're going to uh, turn it into one piece let's see what uh, this is looking like see I, I can see the lights the reflections will be working fine we have plenty of you see those dark lines that's what we know we want to get let's draw the uh, top of this piece of furniture then uh, let's raise this to about one inch high center the best you can for now let's look uh, let's place it just above not crossing each other but just about a hair of an, a hair higher that's fine next thing is you convert this to uh, editable poly again select all the edges and uh, apply ex uh, chamfer on one sixteenth of an inch like so good enough we can also apply the uh, same thing to the uh, most important uh, parts on the uh, on the dresser like the legs here so select the outer edges here this one don't forget that that's a just a short line then you get the rest you you may select uh, the ones that are inside and around but believe me th there's no need for that that's plenty of that's all we need to do one sixteenth of an inch as well sometimes I give it more that's good for this tutorial let's see let's see what uh, what we got so far let me flip this around because I want to work on uh, maybe we'll add a couple of drawers here 
let's collapse this accept yes and uh, it becomes one piece the bottom piece is no longer editable as a mirror let's draw a uh, front of the uh, drawer about one inch thick place it up in front like this maybe we can isolate it it's easy to work now you right click on it you will find it isolate isolate selection here let's go in the back convert this to poly editable poly select these lines click on connect two segments move them to the sides but don't go too far to the edges just somewhere there select these again one more time give them a little closer then select the other way let's make three three edges and uh, then we'll, we're going to place them. This is just a quick drawing but uh, you get the idea. Select this, move it down, that's the bottom of the drawer. This is going to show you where the, the profile ends. Select this planes here or those faces and extrude last extru ex extrusion or or the or the uh, default is 10 inches I think so that's probably good let's ex exit right click and exit uh, isolate uh, view uh, selection let's duplicate move it to the next one make three you got them Right, I bowl in a, you know it's not too bad. Uh, I get pretty good at doing this after a while. Make a copy of this one. Let's edit. Make it wider or taller. Put this over here. Got it. Duplicate this. <coughs> Make a copy, select the other drawer. Let's make a duplicate and go down here. These two are supposed to be about the same size, so let's see how good my uh, calculations were. That's pretty good. Alright, so there we have it. Maybe we need a couple of things like uh, the door, the, uh, the drawer knobs. Let me see. I'm going to place him right here. About yay big. Make a low poly. Doesn't have to be uh, smooth. It can be just rough. Remember that the distance you're looking at it, you can't even tell whether it's round, square, but it's it's there. I'll move this to the. F Let's make some copies first. Again, just a eyeball in an estimating where the center of these drawers would be. You know, in real life, they may not even be perfectly centered anyway. That's why things look right in real life, uh, but in on a drawing it's so perfect that something is wrong there All right, this goes here then we can select all of them rather than one by one maybe we can go to the list and say let's select all the cylinders okay 
give him a color, black. Move him to the front of the uh, drawers. And we're done. Let's see what we got so far. Well, now we can add some, you know, simple materials uh, on the slate material editor. Arch and Design is an easy one. Double click. Select uh, I know, yeah, something you can work with. Pearl finish. Just give it any color you want. Maybe a medium color. So we can see the dark shadows and the lights. Let's change the glossiness a little bit. Raise it up. And we're going to uh, select the furniture here. We'll apply. And uh, that should do it. Now I'm going to cut off the um, this and start here again. And this is the, the same piece of furniture we just worked on. We just need to... Uh, I'm working on V-Ray. I, I made a uh, simple room or a simple setup few lights, uh, a V-Ray plane. I'm using uh, I'm using the renderers from V-Ray. Everything is default. There's nothing unusual about this. We create a small box here, give it a little more something that we can use the reflections and we can see what finished furniture looks like. Let's size this up a little. And as a we need material. Again, let's get another V ray material. Uh, it's down here, you can't see it, but you drag this over here. Again, choose the color. Make it reflect a little light. You know, reflect when you go into the lighter color it's like reflecting a white wall or something or the haze of the light. So you make that a little brighter, it will be more reflective. Let's see uh, here, click this here and you'll see the, the effect. You see, what you see on top is the reflection of the background, not, not the transparency. So we apply that to the object and we render. Now this is a render I made just previously to this one, but after I added the box. As you can see here, this furniture has weight. I mean, you can almost tell that you won't be able to pick it up. It, it looks heavy. It's sitting there because of those minor details that make it look right. Well, I hope you liked the lesson. And if you want to drop me a line or have a question, just go ahead and uh, and click it uh, at the bottom. Thank you so much. Goodbye.